So about a week or two ago, I got to sit down and watch iZombie Season 5. I actually did already record a review for this, but I really didn't like it. So <laughs> I, I had it, I was uploading it, and then I, I canned it. I was like, no, I'm not putting it up. I don't like it. But So Season 5 aired, the season finale. I'm way late to the game on this. I have my reasons. Um, but yeah, I, I just, it just it it didn't slip past me. It was just something I, I didn't watch because I was supposed to watch it with someone else, and of course, uh, that isn't going to happen. Nor did it happen. Um, but really, more than anything, this is just me wanting to praise Rose McGyver as Liv Moore in this show. More than anything, like. I love the show. I think I think season five, from what I can tell, I feel like the show got canceled a few episodes before it was over, and they tried to wrap it up the best they could in like three episodes. And I've seen that happen before, and it just felt like that when I was watching it here. Like it just feels too neat, too quick, like uneventful. Something happens with like you know the main bad of the show, and it's just so quick and it's just it's not very well thought out and I was just like hmm that's how that ends okay interesting you just think it would be a little more climactic than that but overall it's such a great show um, for anyone who doesn't know what this show is it's about a, um, a doctor named Liv Moore and uh, she gets bit while at a boat party um, and uh, she becomes a zombie, obviously, but zombies are very different in this world. And uh, when she eats someone's brain, she can basically remain normal, except for she starts to take on their personality traits until it flushes from her system. So whether that's like a day or two, I, I don't know what the actual amount of time before it flushes out of their system but she also can take on some of their memories that just randomly come to her when they're, you know, kind of sparked out of her. So she tries to hide that she's a zombie, of course, and kind of demotes herself to working in a morgue um, with her uh, co-partner, Rob V, who's a fantastic character and was just recently in the entire haunting of Bly Manor, um, which he was a completely different character in. But uh, <clears throat> so she starts working there as a you know medical examiner, and uh, she starts eating these people's brains, and she pretends that she's psychic for a season or so, um, and she starts solving murders as a zombie because she's able to take these people's brains and their in their emotion you know and, and have some of their memories, and she leads clues, and she works with side by side with Detective Babineau. Um, and they solve crime, you know, and it's it's a comedy show. It's so funny. It's so well done. It's so well acted. You've got, you know, you've got the main players. You got Babineau, you got Ravi, you've got Peyton, you've got Major, you've got, you know, so on and so forth. And they're all good. And Ravi is probably my second favorite. But I just, as I said, I can't praise Rose McIver's performance enough in this. It's just one of those performances that I think will never get its due. Like she has to play a different character in basically every episode but also be her at the same time. So when she eats someone's brain she takes on personality traits of theirs. So you know she, if she eats um, you know whatever whatever kind of person that that is that there is you know the, every episode there's they you know we find out that this person was this kind of person and then so she starts acting like that kind of person and she fucking nails it every single time but it's not that she's just doing an impersonation of some generalized version of that thing she's doing it very well but she's also playing the character of Liv Moore the entire time as well because they're kind of symbiotic at that point. Those, those two characters, 
you know, the character that died and she ate and the character that she is throughout. So she is Liv, but she's also that other person in one body. And she's got to be a different person in every episode. And every one of them is drastically different. Drastically different than the next. And for me, I just because it's a comedic performance, it would never be taken seriously as an incredible display of talent. But it really really is and I just I cannot like it's it's one of those things where I'm just I, I like I want to be the guy on the soapbox I want to be the guy screaming from the, ro- the from the you know from the rooftops like she deserves more fucking attention she deserves more credit for the acting in this show because you have to have comedic timing you have to you have to be playful enough that it plays into the comedy but good enough that you buy that she's these characters and it doesn't feel goofy or hammy. It feels legit, but also, as I said, while being funny and playing off of everybody and, and making it a gag. And there's a lot of drama in the show, too. It's a, it's a CW show, and I know, I, I know that network turns a lot of people off, but please give, the, please give the show a shot. It really is such a clever, well-written, such a great character-driven uh, uh, show. Typically, I don't like shows like this. Typically, I don't like, you know, um, kind of self-contained, episodic shows like this where it's like one episode is, is, is its own story and then it doesn't really play into the next episode. You do get a little bleed over into the next, but it's a lot of like cases and the cases are self-contained. They don't you know, bleed into the next episode. You do get a through line, a story that continues, but it's mild part of every episode. And typically I don't care for that, especially comedy shows, but because these characters are just so fantastic and I just want to see what Liv's going to do next. And I want to see the interaction that she has with, with Ravi. And I want to see Babineau's fucking like absolute utter bafflement with everyone's Behavior. He's always he he just has this great face of like what the fuck is going on here, or like oh my god you're the most annoying person ever, or like no not again like that kind of guy. He plays off of her so well, and then Robbie's kind of her like cheerleader, and he he comes in with these great puns and ah uh, man and Peyton oh her friend Peyton is one of the most beautiful women that you'll ever see so. It's just got everything, man. It's just such a great show. And season five, I wouldn't say a letdown. Um, it, every episode is good. It just does feel rushed. The ending does feel rushed. And I think, it's, I think a lot of that comes from bitterness that it's over. That I feel like it was, that it was canned way before its time. Like, you know, uh, the CW has run... Uh, supernatural like fucking 15 seasons and not that that's not a good show it is a good show I'm just saying like if that show can get 15 seasons I Zombie could have got a few more seasons if if the the 100 can get 7 seasons I think is what that went this can if Arrow can go like 7 seasons if you know we we, we could have got a couple more man like this is such a wonderful show and everyone I know who watches it loves it like, if they're watching it, they love it. There's nobody I know that's watching this show and is like, you know, mm, you know, it's, it's all right. I, I enjoy it enough to continue, but it's not, like, the best show. Like, everyone I know who does watch it, not that everyone who's watched it loves it. That's not what I'm saying. Because there's definitely been people who are like, oh, it's not for me. But for the most part, nine times out of ten, people are like, oh, I watch it and I fucking love it. So, yeah, it's a super fun show. If you like something like Santa Clarita Diet, which is another great comedy zombie show from Netflix, which got canceled. You want to talk about a show that got canceled too fucking early? At least I, Zombie, got an ending. Santa Clarita Diet ends on a fucking cliffhanger. Netflix, you fucking pricks. Come on, man. You got to give us a Sense8 kind of ending to... to fucking Santa Clarita died. Give us a two-hour movie or something. Don't end it like that. That's such bullshit. It's such a fantastic show. And Netflix, really, man, you got to commit to things. Like, if you don't like something, 
like Glow. They just fucking canceled Glow, even though they had already filmed the first episode of season four, which was supposed to be the last season. But then because of COVID, they're just like pulling the plug and they're like, fuck, fuck it. Glow's done. Dude, at least give us a movie to send it off. It's such a great show. And if I can't watch Alice and Brie for every second of the rest of my life, I don't know what else I want to do with my life. But yeah, Netflix, man. But anyway, uh, Santa Clarita Diet, if you like something like that, check this show out. It's so good. And once again, Rose, what a phenomenal performance. Seriously. Anyway, 